Machiavelli gang, we back up in this thing after so long, man. I hope you guys have been doing great, because I've been doing great. A lot of good things been happening, and I've just been needing some time away from YouTube for a while. Not gonna make no excuses, I've just been needing a break, man. So, um, you know, we back at these reaction videos. I'm gonna try to stay consistent on these as much as possible, but a lot of content creators, you guys know what I'm talking about, man. Like, YouTube, it can get exhausting sometimes to the point where you're like, only focusing on YouTube or things that are YouTube related, you know, and I just want to um, give myself that that mental space, you know. But we back here today, man, with Gold Digger dumps her broke guy, Dar man. Now, before we get started, you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, man, subscribe right now because you don't want to miss no lit content from me. And second, this is about the second video that I've seen made by Dar man on my list of um, recommended videos. So I'm not trying to jack anybody else's niche if there's anybody out there reacting to Darman, Darman's uh, content. So if you guys see me reacting to it, please just respect it. Don't be in my comments of, oh, so-and-so reacted to this. I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't react to the video because they reacted to it. I'm just, you know, I see it, I snatch it up. But without further ado, man, let's get it. Suck. Yeah. What's up, boss? I'm afraid I got some bad news. We're uh gonna have to let you go. Okay, you're kidding, right? Well, I'm one of the hardest working people here. We had to make some budget cuts. I hope you can understand. No, what are you this is I supposed to pay my bills i don't know but i'm i'm sure you're gonna figure it out good luck <laughs> yo for starters you guys like man i feel like nobody understands the struggle like dude how am i gonna pay my bills how am i gonna eat and who knows if he has kids or not right dude like, it's really easy for the other person to say, oh, good luck, oh, everything's gonna work out. You don't even know what I'm going through, bro. Like, you don't know how many bills I got stacked up to the ceiling, and you're just telling me good luck. You know, like that, I feel like people really just don't understand, bro. How? But if they were in this situation, they would understand. Best believe it. Hey, you're home earlier. Yeah. Look, um, you're not gonna believe this, Ben. I, I just got fired today. I can tell already by her demeanor that she looks like the type that's just like, ah, you're home earlier. Like, no good to see you. Nothing. Just, I could tell, bro, that she's just one of them type. And this is based off the title. Like, it says that she's a gold digger, and I could tell her demeanor that she is a gold digger, but at the same time, it's just like, dude, I know it's her attitude right off the bat, you guys. Like, she just wasn't excited to see him. He's home earlier than you. Like, So, in other words, what I'm trying to say is this. She's not going to like this news. I know I wouldn't either, but I'm just saying, like, she wouldn't be that type of person... That's going to lift you up in your time of need. She's not going to be that person that's going to go out here and help you apply for a job or send in a resume. You see what I'm saying? Like, she's not going to be that type, bro. She's going to be that type that, okay, you're home earlier, so you must didn't make no money today. So, you know, only one thing could come out of this, which is I'm going to the guy who is bringing home the bacon and leaving you. That's that's pretty much what I take out of it already. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, yeah. Came out of nowhere. But I don't understand. You told me you were getting a promotion. Well, I thought so too, but clearly that didn't happen. So. Okay. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. I find another job. I mean, what else? Pablo, I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. You can't do what? What do you mean? 
I mean that when I first met you, you told me that you were going to start your own business someday and that we were going to live in a really nice place. And yet, we're still living in this dump. And now, you're unemployed. Well, I'm sorry. My life hasn't gone accordingly to your plan, okay? You know what? I'm leaving. Okay, no. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going, Shelby? Wait, Dude. Look, Pablo, <laughs> I need a man that can give me what I deserve and provide for me. And clearly, you're not that man. So, but, okay, but please don't just... Don't go after that, bro. Please don't. I hate to see when guys go after females like those. It's not like you're missing out on anything, dude. Really, you're not. I'm going to start off by saying this, right? Females like that, they want a guy to provide for them and buy them things and just materialistic, right? But little do they know, the guy that really has his finances set up like that, for him to to where he could do those type of things for a woman he doesn't want to do that like with you he probably has a wife and kids his own family he doesn't want to do that with you this is the big problem that a uh, gold digging females are not understanding not seeing you know you guys go after these guys with these nice cars and their own businesses or whatever whatever but they don't want you they have their own family. They have their own life to live. They don't want you part of it. I could see it if it was just like, yo, teach me something. How did you do this? How did you start your own business? Just like I, just like I communicate with YouTubers and ask them like, yo, how did you do this? How did you do that? Hey, take me up under your wing. How did you, you know what I'm saying? Like I could see if it was something like that, but this is clearly just, oh, you ain't got it. So another guy has it. So I'm just go with it. And then the other thing was, so what are you going to do? You're supposed to be my girlfriend or fiance, whatever she's supposed to be. This is a team thing. So what are we going to do? It's not just you're in this alone, bro. Then the saddest part is guys like him chase after girls like that, seeing what their true colors Thanks. are. She's showing you that she, she's a gold digger, right, but... Right. You know, it's just not registered, bro. What's up? Hey, man, want to go to Vegas this weekend? The Bears are playing the Raiders. No, I, I, I can't be spending money like that. Just lost my job. For real? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, I hate to ask, but... I will need those $500 that I let you borrow a few weeks ago. Do you think you can Venmo them to me? Right, what's wrong? I didn't realize you'd need it back so soon, so I kind of already bet it on the football game. You did what? I'm sorry, but there was this really good parlay that was paying 20 to 1. If I win, that'd be 10 grand. No, nobody ever wins those, Dave. No, no, this one's different. Look, if I win, I'll pay you half. How's that? Whatever. I got it, Bob. Oh. I guess he mean like half of the 10000 Okay, I was about to say, dude, what? Half no. of the $500? Kind of wish today never happened. That bad, huh? Yeah. The first day I lost my job, then my girlfriend broke up with me. And well, now I just found out my friend gave away the $500 that he owes me, so... Ouch. Sorry you gotta go through all that. Don't be sad, though. God always closes the door for a reason. So another one opens, by the way. Just building off what he just said. But, you guys, if I ever borrow money from you, which I know I'm not going to do, but if I do ever borrow money from anybody, I'm paying you back if I have the finance to do so. I can see if you don't have the money, but if you have the money and I owe you, I'm paying you back, bro. This is another thing that people get, you know, confused about, like, if you have the money, let's say this person this person borrowed $60 from me. If they have it and they could pay me that back without going broke after they pay their bills or whatever the case, and they pay me that back, dude, like do that. Because these are the people that are helping you and that really don't have to help you. No, you guys are burning your bridges out here, sitting up here running around, acting like you don't owe nobody and you owe this person, bro. 
Give them that. It'll make them keep helping you. I'm not saying continuously keep doing it just so they, just so they, but pretty much that's essentially that's what it is, you know. You know, you're building trust with this person. You're letting this person know, yo, I got you every single time. You let me borrow whatever the amount is. What do you mean? Well, I like giving it to you and you bet it on the game. If you had it. Is it what you always dreamed of doing? Well, no. I've always dreamed of having my own donuts out. That feels like a long time ago. This girl you were dating, you absolutely certain she was the one for you? I mean, her leaving like this does make me question things. And the 500 bucks, you can survive without it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to starve, if that's what you're asking. Well, then maybe just trust that God always closes the door for a reason. And one day, you just might thank him for it. So wait, you're, you're saying that all of this, this is... Happening for a reason. This one's on me. Hey, look at that. Your day's turning around already. Sorry, I'm late. You will see Pablo? Yes, I saw the pictures online. So this place used to be a donut shop? Yep. So it's already built out for everything you need. You'd hardly have to spend any money to open. That sounds great to me. I think I'll take it. Great. I do have to warn you. Because of what happened with the last tenant, the landlord is requiring a double security deposit. Oh. Uh, okay. And how much would that be? Well, let's see. First month's rent plus two months security deposit, $5,700. Really? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have that kind of money. I barely have a thousand bucks, so... <sighs> well, if you do get all the money together, just give me a call. Don't wait too long, though. A lot of people calling about this space. Good luck. No new man in shop. <laughs> Who was I kidding? Pablo! <laughs> you completely missed out, bro. We should have come to Vegas. That is the last thing on my mind right now. Hey, hey you okay? Are you still stressing about Shelby? No. I guess a little, but no. I met with a realtor, and he told me he wants $5,700 for this place. I mean, that's crazy, right? I don't have that kind of money, and... I don't understand how anything I just said could make you smile. Well, what... Look, look, I wouldn't feel bad for you if there was any truth to what you just said. What do you mean? Remember that parlay I told you about? Yeah. Well, it hit. What? <laughs> yeah. You're, you're joking, right? No, man. And here is the five grand I promised you. <laughs> this is insane. Thank you. Of course, man. Hey, hey, look, and now you can open up your own shop. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. But it really do happens like that, dude. Like, you know, it still wouldn't be enough. To pay for inventory or to hire new employees. In the moments where you guys are like down and out, because even I've had moments like these, bro, it's always something that's gonna lift you back up and let you know that there's still hope out here for you, man. Like, there's been times where I've wanted to give up on this YouTube thing, but then it's like, you guys, my supporters, you guys actually build me up, bro. Because it seems like every time, anytime like I get into the space where I just want to give up and quit YouTube, I get a new subscriber. New supporters. Like, that's crazy, dude. So that's, so I'm letting you guys know, like, that's just how it is. You know, if you, as long as you guys are out here doing the right things, there's no way good things can't happen to you. Even though you are, like, down on your luck, there's still hope out here for you. Male, female, whatever, bro. I, just, I don't think it's going to work. But thank you, really. No, 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 wait. I'll tell you what. Since you let me borrow money, here's another five grand. Hey, if I'm not going to take your money. No, going to... it's a loan. Pay me back whenever you have. Thank you, but no, really. This is, I, I insist. 
I wouldn't even have this money if it wasn't for your five hundred dollars. Take it. Um, you're a good friend, man. No, really, Dave. Thank you. Of course. I, I promise you, you're not going to regret this. Taking the next customer. Sure. Thank you. Well, I was just walking by and I thought I saw you. Is this your shot? Yeah, I bought it a few months ago, and well, you can say things are going pretty well. I can tell. You've always been a hard worker, so you definitely deserve it. Thank you. Listen. Before this goes any further, I already know the, these types, bro. Hey, yeah, you are a good worker. Well, why'd you let him go? See, now what he's going to try to do is, this dude right here, what he's going to try to do is reel you back in, you know. He feels bad. Well, he didn't feel bad at the time. See, everybody is like this, too. As long as you're not in a position where it looks like you can get back up on your feet, nobody wants to help you. Nobody wants to give you a helping hand. Nobody wants to even get 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 you like a foot in the door. You know what I mean? Like, as long as it seems like you have nothing going or whatever, and, okay, yeah, we gotta let you go. And then, seeing as how he got his own business running, you know, he just happened to walk by and, oh, that's the guy I let go a few a few months ago or whatever. So let me try to see if he'll come work for me or no, bro. You let me go a while back. You're the reason why I fell on hard times. Like, and I tried to tell you I had bills to pay, etc. And you told me good luck. Well, thank you for the good luck. And it actually happened. So saying that to say, I'm not going back to work for you. Our head chef position just opened up. And it'd be a big promotion from your old job. Would you be interested? No. Um, Well, congrats on all your success. I'll see you soon, bro. Let me guess, this is the girlfriend? Or supposed to be girlfriend? Hello? Hi. So I heard through the grapevine that you started your own business. Man. I'm done with females like you guys, bro. I swear I'm done. I'm so done, bro. Shut up. You can say that. I'm so, so proud of you. But you wasn't... You know, I was thinking. We should start our relationship no, over again. No, no. Yeah, um... That's not gonna happen. Look, I don't know if that's a good idea, Shelby. You know, God always closes the door for a reason, and... I intend to keep it that way, but, uh, so goodbye. Wait, don't go! There you go. Two pumpkin spice lattes. You yes. are the best, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got... Yo. Anybody who saw this video, I guarantee you, how many people were surprised that you know, he going to get... to stay here and help me, right? Uh, you can just a go black chick. and relax. Are you kidding? I'd much rather be helping you. I'm not saying that. The whole interracial thing is a big deal, but I'm just saying, like, I didn't expect that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying, though. I didn't expect a black woman in me. You know. <laughs> you know, I thank God every day for introducing me to you. Hey, Pablo, can I get a smile for the DM times? Yeah. Get in. Okay. One, two, and... Look, I'm 
That was amazing, bro. If you guys like this video, man, please give it a fat thumbs up. More reaction videos like these on the way. Not gold diggers, but I'm just saying. Michaelville gang, we up out of here. We 43 family members in. Let's try to get up to 100. But yeah, man, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.